Armrule, the Nature Hero. Chapter 1, New Point. It's always so nice to just get out and breathe in the fresh air of the jungle. The best thing is, is exploring. My favorite part of the jungle is how you can explore whatever you want. Yet, if you're not a hero like me, you gotta watch out. Going out in wild areas can be a very dangerous task. But lucky for me, that's not a problem. Hey, and I'm Armroll. I am a nature hero. Ouch, my head. A long, long time ago, lived the past generation universe. This universe contained of plenty of powerful gods, such as Icy, the Ice Cube. He was a great handler of ice, and creating ice sculptures and shards and he was a great god. He could copy powers, and he had plenty of nature-related powers. There was also Dictionary, a smart book that knew everything, a high IQ of over 2,000. She had a plan for almost any situation. There was also unknown heroes that were never truly revealed, yet their assets still remain after the wipeout. It wasn't all just good. Plenty of villains were also found. Some were gods, some were not. It had all relied around shadows. Other evil gods and villains were also wiped out, such as spider exolotls with plenty of eyes to see you. Yet this last wipeout was not made by us. It was some other mysterious villain. It seemed like he looked like a virus or some kind of aura. And thanks to him, all of the gems, heroes, gods, villains, and everything about the last universe has been destroyed, leaving another generation to be left behind. Yet the main protagonist has still not been found and must be taken down. <laughs> I remember when I was just a little bit younger. I barely even had any powers, yet didn't even know that I had any. Now looking at how much I've learned and improved, I can grow whole entire gardens, grow roots from the floor, even almost grow trees. Each day, I learn more and more skills. Slowly but surely, I hope that I can see one true villain. Welp, that's my job for the day. Another garden saved. I'll start heading home about now. It's almost 6 p.m. <laughs> nice Halloween costume. I know Halloween's coming up. Yeah, you don't look like a villain whatsoever. Also, I don't know how you get your body that tangled up. Anyways, I'll continue moving on the How dare he not take this serious? I'll be showing him who's a real villain now. Yeah, I can't believe that these types of people <laughs> just in the middle of nowhere just showing up. <laughs> now that I'm thinking about it though, it really doesn't seem like he was a human. After all, his body did look all tangled up. Well, I guess staying on high alert would be the correct thing to do. <sighs> yep, finally at home. Well, that was a pretty fun day. <laughs> Better make sure that this door is locked. You never know what could happen during the night time. After all, specifically living in the middle of the jungle, there could be any sort of creature lurking around. Yo, Mecky, I'm home. Yeah, what's up, Armor? Yo, Mecky, sorry that I arrived a bit later than I was supposed to. I kind of got caught up on the way here. Also, I passed by a few beautiful looking gardens, and as usual, will help the plants. And yeah, no, Armor, it's alright. Plus, there's always other times to hang out. By the way, what do you mean by you saw something that, like, made you stay back a little bit? Like, did you see anybody that looked a little different? Nah, not really. I'll just be heading to my room, Mecky. I'll see you tomorrow. Alright. You know, I sure wonder about that bucket guy. If he's actually gonna be some kind of dangerous person. Well, there's only one way to find out. Well, I guess I'll go to bed now. And I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>